In this video, I want to have a look at how we can use our calculators to find the mean of a data set. So we've got two different data sets here. For this first one, it's a fairly small data set. So we could just find the mean of this by adding all of our numbers together and then dividing that, um, that answer by the number of scores that are there. But if we wanted to use the statistics mode in our calculator, first we have to put it in statistics mode. So we're going to press this button here that says mode. And then we want stats, so we're going to press the button 2, and then just 1. So that's going to give us a column here where we can enter our scores in. So we could enter 14 and press equals, and it will enter a 14 in there. And then we can keep going for all of the rest of our scores as well. So we have all of our scores in there now. We're just going to press this AC button to get out of there. All that data is still stored in the memory of our calculator. Now to find the mean, the symbol for the mean is an X with a bar above it. So we call it X bar. So that's what we're looking for on our calculators. So in here, we're actually going to get press this stat button here above the one key. It says stat in yellow. We're going to press shift and then that one button and that'll give us all our statistics options. Then we're going to press 4, and then that 2 there has an X bar written on it, so we'll press 2. So this is going to find us our mean. So we'll press equals, and it gives us our mean as 18.3 recurring. We'll just round it off to one decimal place as 18.3. All right, so that's our first data set. Before we enter our second one, we need to clear all that data out of the memory. So the easiest way to do that is just to put it in stats mode again. So we've gone mode, two, one. For this second data set, because we've got a frequency column, it's a lot more painful to do this the old way of just adding all our numbers together and then dividing. It's even a bit painful to do the way we just did then. If we enter a 10, because there's one 10, and then enter 11, and then 11, and then 11, because there's three of them, and enter, enter 12 seven times, that's going to be really painful. But luckily, our calculators have a way of making that a lot easier. So we are in statistics mode. We're now going to add a second column to that table we had before. So we're going to press Shift, and then this button again, which says Setup, when we've got the Shift on. We're going to have to press this down arrow here. And then where it says Stat for three, we're going to press the three button and it asks us whether we want the frequency column on or off. So we're going to press one because we want it on. So now if we pull our table up again, mode two, one, we now have our score column and our frequency column, which looks like our table here. So we can enter it in. So our first score is 10. So we'll type 10, press equals and it enters a 10. Now it automatically puts a frequency of one for all of our scores, which is fine for the 10 because that's the right frequency. But for the others, we'll go and change it. So we'll enter 11 and hit equals. Now to change that frequency, we can use these arrows and go back up. We want that to have a frequency of three. So we'll press three and hit equal. Then we can come back over 12, which has a frequency of seven. Um, 13 has a frequency of six. 14 has a frequency of 4, and our last one was 15, and it had a frequency of 3. So we've got all our data in there. If you make a mistake, you can just go back up and change any of those numbers as well. Once we've got it all in there, we'll press that orange AC button again to get out of there, and then it's the same process as before. So we're going to press Shift 1 to get into our statistics menu, then 4, and that 2 button with the mean symbol there. So the mean of this data set is 12.75. Okay, so that's how we can use our calculators to find the mean.